And I'm Chris Gordon. Today is Thursday, September 29th, and we're here with your morning announcements. MCA will be having a meeting today after school at 3.30 in Miss Rose's room, HE4. Also in Miss Rose's room, English tutoring for all students is available beginning today. Excluding finals week, she will be open for tutoring every Thursday starting the first week of Term 2 from 3.30 to 4.30. FBLA members, FBLA is holding a meeting tomorrow at Ms. Vizalante's room until 3.45. Also, LDI needs chaperones, so please contact Mrs. Lante if you know anyone who would like to volunteer. If you're interested in joining a club, let's take a look at what Key Club has to offer. Kasum Stokes has a vast variety of clubs, an important one being Key Club. For those who don't know what it is, club president Megan Wings said, Key Club is the oldest and largest student-led organization for community service, and we're founded by Kiwanis International, which is an adult nonprofit organization, and we're founded on the core values of inclusiveness, character building, caring, and leadership. Key Club takes a great pride in the community service work they do. Senior Secretary Jared Subia describes the vast variety of events that the club covers. Key Club likes to volunteer at events such as marathons like the Elk Grove Run for Hunger, local community events like the Elk Grove Pumpkin Festival, school events like the Joseph Sims Ice Cream Social, and we also like to specifically volunteer at Key Club events like the um, Key Club Pause for a Cause. One of the biggest appeals of Key Club is the tight-knit community that forms between the members. It becomes more than just a club, it becomes a family. Reporting for Wolfpack TV with filmographer Dylan Bullock, I'm William Ferguson, back to you anchors. Need more community service hours? Visit www.readingpartners.org slash Sacramento if you would like to tutor kids in the Sacramento region. You can also contact Carly Johnson via Schoolip if you have any other questions. Now let's pass on over to Anton Ross for your sports update. What is up, Wolfpack? I'm Ross Allen. And I'm Anton Cruz. Let's get right into your sports update. The ladies' volleyball team played Whitney yesterday and lost three sets to one. They looked to bounce back on Monday when they traveled to Ponderosa. CO Cross Country competed in their first CVC League meet at Maidu Park yesterday. The men's varsity team took third place with Sebastian Leone and Nick Hall in the top ten. Women's varsity team took first place with Mia Terry, Eden David, and Jade Guerrero, uh, who took fourth, third, and fifth respectively. Great job, runners. Now let's take a look at the women's tennis team's match against Whitney. But first, a word from the coach. Playing right now the undefeated team of Whitney, which is... Uh, definitely probably one of the toughest teams in the league. Um, rest of the season, hopefully, um, we'll try our best to finish in the top three so we can make playoffs again this year, and we'll have to go from there, one match at a time. Here we have our number one doubles team rallying against Whitney. As you'll see, Delilah Mutz hits a devastating forehand to win the point. It wasn't enough, though, as the team got swept 9 to nothing. Tomorrow, the JV and varsity teams go on the road to play the Roseville Tigers. The JV team looks to stay undefeated in league play and to prove to a 2-0 record in league. And as for the varsity team, they will look to give Roseville their first loss on the season and crash their homecoming party. You know, that would be really great. That's it for today, Wolfpack. I'm Anton Cruz. And I'm Ross Allen. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks guys. Part of forms will be available outside the activities room after school. Forms will also be available on School Loop and the school's website. Your forms will have to be signed and turned into the office by October 3rd at 3.30. Practice will be the week of October 10th and the game will be October 17th. Powderpuff Cheer signups are this week. You can get your form in Ms. Hawk's culinary room anytime this week during lunch or passing period. It is open to all grades. Now let's take a look at what in women's engineering is up to. 
Roughly half of the population is female, and yet only a quarter of STEM careers are filled by women. Want to change that statistic? Come check out Women's Engineering Club. Club official Nikki Graywall explains the focus of the club. So the focus of our club is really to bring more women into the field of engineering because right now it's very male dominated and we just want to work to make it equal between men and women. Club member Jada Abelgez is excited to continue this project into the new school year. In our club meetings, we are working on our project, which is a sensory board for children with disabilities. And we get into groups and we collab together and it's a great way to work with our peers and get to know each other. There's no skill set required. If you come in not knowing how to use tools or anything about engineering, we can catch you up. Come out to one of their meetings after school Tuesday in the CAD room or in our school's R house. If you have any questions, contact Mr. McDougal or Nikki Graywell through School Loop. Reporting for Wolfpack TV, I'm Carly Johnson here with filmographer Miranda Chabot. Back to you, anchors. Theo's band is having a concert tonight at 7 in the PAC. Make sure to come and show your support. Choir is also having a concert tomorrow at 7 in the PAC. Juniors and seniors, college presentations are going on now. Be sure to pick a sign up sheet in the Career Center today. We will be visited by Dominican University. And next week, Dartmouth College and UC Santa Barbara will be featured. Pick up a sign-up sheet now. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Chris Gordon. And I'm Audra Fallen. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Coffee, Coffee Day! Day.